Hey everyone, welcome to JS Cafe and in today's video we are going to discuss about preload, prefetch and preconnect. So if you are not aware, this video is part of the system design series where we will be discussing about network optimizations. So previous to that we have discussed how to lazy load images. If you haven't checked out that video then do check it before landing onto this one. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So we'll be discussing about three things that is uh, preload, prefetch and preconnect. So these value, uh, these three things, uh, although they sound similar, but internally they behave very differently. So let us just start with uh, preload first. Okay. So let's forget uh, preload, prefetch and uh, preconnect uh, for a moment and see if we have regular style sheets and regular JS into our code base then how does that looks uh, in the developer console okay so uh, what i'll do is i'll comment down these codes that are actually not required for the moment and what we are having is we are importing two style sheets that is uh, style1.css style2.css and we have a link tag that is uh, redirecting to index3.html and at the end of the um, section we are having two script tags that are uh, script1.js and script2.js so this is just like uh, any other regular flow okay so uh, let us save this and run this on the server and see what is the output okay so yeah so here we go and let me increase this once yeah here we go now uh, if you go to network tab of your developer console and go to this uh, section make sure if you're not seeing this priority column right make sure you can do a right click and you can click on this priority clicking on that you'll see this priority column now let's have a look at what is actually happening and how the files are getting loaded First of all, I see that my index2.html file, which I am currently on, is getting loaded. Okay. This has a highest priority. Okay. Style1 and Style2CSS are loaded first. They have highest priority. And Script1 and Script2 are also loaded afterwards, but they have priority high. Okay. So we see that this Chrome browser internally have, has set some priorities to the assets, okay, depending upon the asset type. If it would have been an image, the priority will be different. If it is a CSS file, the priority is different. If it is a JS file, then priority is different, okay. And you can see it in the console as well. Notice this waterfall also. What I mean by waterfall is that uh, the way uh, these uh, you know files are loaded. Okay, make sure you uh, uh, have this uh, arrow upwards uh, when you are viewing the waterfall. Okay, this shows that which file is getting uh, loaded first. Okay, so that is what this waterfall suggests. Okay? How the files are loaded. So the idea is to see the files that is loaded first at the top and the file that is loaded last at the bottom okay so make sure this arrow is like this in the waterfall column now we see that style 1 style 2 script 1 script 2 they are loaded in this fashion now let's suppose my requirement is that style 2 css should be loaded before then style 1.css and script2.js should be loaded first then uh, script1.js also uh, to be precise these two files style 2 css and script 2.js are critical for rendering the web page okay without these we sh we cannot render anything on web page okay so the idea is that the moment the browser gets some time to load some assets i want to make sure that style 2.css and style uh, script 2.js should be loaded first anyhow and after that any other file should get loaded because these two files are of high priority according to my business okay 
yeah or whatever the logic you want okay let's suppose this style 2 css has a basic you a basic css written without this file your uh, ui will break and let's suppose uh, script 2.js has core logics right without this uh, your website is not functional so these two files are very critical for your uh, website okay and if the files are very critical now i have to make sure that these two files are loaded as soon as browser has a space to load any file okay so here comes preload into the picture okay i hope you got the context right now uh, coming back to this preload okay this is where preload comes into the picture okay now i want to make sure that this style to css is uh, above and script 2.js uh, is above and after that style 1.css and script one dot js should load okay so let us see how we can achieve this using preload okay so this was the file i commented out okay right and uh, let us uh, change this to script 2 for example okay yeah so this is the syntax for preloading anything notice that we are using a link tag so this preload is a value of the attribute rel which stands for relation so i am attaching a link tag the relation is a preload okay i want to preload any asset and it should be loaded as a script okay and this is the href okay hyper reference so what preload is doing it is preloading data okay it is pre-downloading data for you but it doesn't execute it okay execution happens when you consume that file okay what i mean by consuming is that i am consuming this file over here right so this is what it, it is preload only loads the data and it is up to you when you want to consume that data or execute it okay so one question that is uh, frequently asked that does preload uh, executes the file as well the answer is no it doesn't execute the execution happens wherever you are uh, you know consuming that file in a script tag or on a inside a link tag okay uh, for css so this is the syntax for preload notice i am preloading two assets over here that is uh, script2.js and uh, style2.css okay so this is the file okay now let us see how that waterfall uh, looks like up for us let us hard refresh and see now this time uh, have a look at this waterfall also see uh, uh, if, if you have a careful look script2.js and style2.css these two uh, these two assets are now loaded first and after that style1 and style1.css and script1.js are loaded after that right and notice the waterfall section also you can see that bar is a little earlier for script2 and style2.css so this means that script 2 and style 2 are present in my memory a little uh, you know a little before time okay and this this is how our, our network is optimized right this is how our we optimized lo loading css loading javascript files we we knew that script 2 and style 2 are critical for our web, web application so i want to uh, load them as soon as possible and this is the result we see in the browser itself right so that is the magic of using preload okay this uh, trust me if you search uh, use cases or success stories of using preload you'll find that uh, even um, spotify and other va uh, various websites they have benefited a lot using uh, this preload thing you, okay do give it a search that's uh, up to you if you want to search but this preload thing is very critical for business sometimes see you see the results right script 2.js and style 2.css are first and then we have a uh, style 1 and script 1 no matter uh, where we consume script 2 and style 2 but they are actually in the memory right this is very you know uh, very fast for the browser okay so this was about preloading okay and yeah one thing more let's suppose if you preload something but you don't consume it okay let's suppose i am being i am consuming this script to uh dot js i am having it in a preload now if i just comment this out right uh, and if i go to console wait yeah so it says that resource uh, localhost slash script 2.js was preloaded but it was not used within seconds from the window load event right 
सो इट इज सेइंग दैट ओके आई हैव लोडेड दिस स्क्रिप्ट टू बट डू वेयर आर यू कंज्यूमिंग इट यू आर नॉट कंज्यूमिंग इट एनी वेयर देन व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ प्री लोडिंग इट राइट सो दिस इज वन वार्निंग यू विल गेट Uh, but i think it is fine uh, like it's not always necessary to uh, consume that script file at that moment only there are certain uh, you know use cases where you want to consume that file at a later moment uh, you know after a few after a user interaction or after something right so it is totally fine okay you can uh, if you want you can uh, ignore this uh, warning as well right so this was one use case of uh, and if i comment this out then this uh, warning goes away so that was one use case preloading now let us talk about prefetch okay uh, notice uh, that we have a reference to index3.html okay now if i go to network you see that index3.html is nowhere inside this call okay inside this network call of index2.html now if i click on this index3.html you see that it took 8 milliseconds to load and this took 3 milliseconds to load and this was the size 296 bytes and 294 bytes is there any way i can improve this yeah there is one way we can improve this but this fee, uh, this uh, you know this particular uh, uh, implementation of prefetch you need to only apply to those assets which for which you are 100% sure that user is going to visit them let's suppose you are creating a single page application for example and you are damn sure that this is a, a, a html file this is a script file that the user is definitely going to you uh, you know come to it let's suppose you have a you know login login applications and you are login uh, you have login steps right so you are uh, onboarding the user in three steps so on on step 1 we prefetch for step 2 and on step 2 we prefetch for step 3 and so on right so uh, coming back to index2.html and let me uh, uncomment this file for you okay oops see so this is where prefetching starts i prefetched uh, index3.html i prefetched script3.js so if we have a look at uh, index3.html we have a empty uh, html file with empty body we have a uh, sorry we have a html file with empty body and at the bottom we are importing a script that is a script3.js okay now notice i refresh this and see the magic index3.html and script3.js were prefetched into the cache and they were having the lowest priority and this actually makes sense if there is an asset that you want to consume at another page so that should be loaded in the lowest priority because anyway you have when you will reach out reach to the next page then you have to consuming then the priority is given to the current page okay so any asset that is present on uh, the current page is having highest or a high priority and any asset that is being consumed on the next page or uh, 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 some other uh, route then that is having a lowest priority and also in the waterfall you can see that they are loaded afterwards okay fine now this was the prefetch now let's see what happens if we go to index3.html now if i click on index3.html okay notice this what happened what is happening see in the size uh in the size uh, column you see that uh, uh it is saying that prefetch cache right so whenever you prefetch any any asset that is stored in the prefetch cache and see the time right see the time it is hard it is 2 milliseconds hardly uh, the user can notice any delay in loading of that particular website right so this is very powerful right you can this is i think indeed very powerful thing that you can prefetch any asset and whenever user comes to that page you have everything already loaded you just show it to the user right it becomes extremely fast right uh, uh, and uh, see this 2 milliseconds you can pause the video go back to some uh, you know go back to the previous timeline and see what was the uh, time when we were loading this file without uh, prefetching okay you can see there's a drastic difference perfect so let's come back and 
yeah so this was about prefetch and this is about preconnect oh this is preconnect actually okay so uh, i'll be just explaining it out okay no need to show it so what is happening is let's suppose you have a website and you are loading contents from some other domain okay uh, from other domains i mean that uh, it could be some cdn right uh, like cdn.jquery.com uh, cdn.firebase.com uh, something like that and you know that at some point in my application i have to make a network call to fetch assets from that particular domain okay there can be time okay let's suppose your images are hosted on uh, xyz uh, www.xyz.images.com for example now you know that you have to load assets from here you know that you have to load contents from here and whenever you make a connection to a new domain okay let's suppose you are at abc.com and you want to fetch domain from xyz.com so that connection between these two domain between abc.com and xyz.com that is gonna take some milliseconds okay probably 100 milliseconds 50 milliseconds depending upon uh, you know the network or, or the latency but is there any way where i can you know make this pre uh, call beforehand right so what is happening is two domains actually do a handshake okay that hey i am going to request you for some data let's uh, do a handshake and let me know if you are okay with sending or receiving data okay this handshake usually takes some milliseconds and let's suppose uh, you want to fetch an image on a click of a button okay when you click that button first that uh, uh, handshake happens and then after that the data is transferred between the two domains so what what you are having is you are having extra delay due to this handshake okay extra 100 milliseconds of delay now let's suppose your website loads and somehow i already did that pre-connect already did that handshake beforehand so whenever in the near future whenever i'm making a call to this particular domain i don't need to do a handshake again because handshake is already done and just to let you know handshake happens only once per domain okay so it's better to you know uh, whatever new any domain you are uh, actually uh, you know having a dependency upon whatever cdn you are actually uh, fetching data from you make sure you add uh, you you add a pre-connect to it okay so that whenever any network call happen you don't have to handshake to that particular domain again and again and this is gonna save you uh, some milliseconds and that is a huge in terms of optimization right so uh, in this example you can see i have uh, a link rel uh, relation as uh, pre-connect and the href i have added the domain name okay and post that domain name whatever asset you want to you know xyz for example xz.png okay whatever asset you load for that it doesn't matter you just need to give the domain and write relation as pre and connect and uh, whenever this website is loading the handshake will already happen no need to worry about it okay so this was all in preload prefetch and pre-connect i hope you understood it if you have any questions then do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to answer and yeah so this was all in this video uh see you in the next one till then take care goodbye